Tennyson. Like many of us, he was rather disgusting with his deliberate dirtiness, his myopia, his smell, his undying enmity for unfavorable reviewers, his stinginess, his coy greed for titles, money, and gowns, his contempt for cockneys and Americans, sallow, greasy, handsome, the Ur Victorian, stupid, as Auden called him, and yet one of the great songsters of the English word, though we still say a century beyond, with qualifications, and modern, a family riddled with drugs, alcohol, and insanity, his major themes all givens or hand-me-downs, the omnium gatherum of in memoriam for beloved Arthur, the high school idols, the triumph of Faulknerian Maud, though only Browning could call it great, yanking his son out of Cambridge to be his biographer, the slavey wife he truly cherished, his fear of Darwin, his desperation for everlastingness, beautiful, tedious Alfred, nicotine drooling from his meerschaum pipe, which he invited guests to suck. Long live the very image of the English poet, whose songs still break out tears in the generations, whose prosody for practitioners still astounds, who crafted his life and letters like a watch. <laughs>